Jetta del Fuego, just up ahead. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Coming on to the island. Here we go. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Good morning, Oli. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you, Shats. How's my hair? When you don't take a brush. He needs a brush. <laughs> this is three in one. <laughs> My hair is really sticking up <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> that will do, hey? Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 247 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. <laughs> Last night we pulled off the Ruta National 3 highway and found this little spot here in Patagonia, Argentina. Yes, we had a really quiet and nice night. It was a little bit cold, but otherwise, you know, just silence. We were protected from the wind. It was actually our best night in bloody ages. <laughs> but it is definitely getting chillier, the bike towards the end of the ride yesterday recorded 11 degrees so we've definitely left the tropical Brazil behind now <laughs> palm trees <laughs> where are you <laughs> <laughs> yes for today's ride we have to wrap up a little bit more put a little bit more layers on because I was really really chilly yesterday but let me show you guys where we're heading today so now we have made it all the way down 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 to here and today we are going to be continuing our way south on the three, crossing the border into Chile, then taking a ferry across to this island, Tierra del Fuego. And there we have to cross another border back over into Argentina to reach somewhere around here. And here is Ushuaia, literally the end of everything. So we are very, very close now. Yes, today we are going to be taking on two border crossings and crossing over to the island of Tierra del Fuego, which is basically at the end of South America, at the end of the world. But very close to Ushuaia. <laughs> So from here it's about 480 miles to Ushuaia and our aim is to get as far south as we can, around 300 miles probably, which is about 480 kilometers. It's already 8 o'clock and we have to pack everything, so better hit the road, let's go. Hey guys, we just wanted to take a minute to thank each and every one of you who has signed up to our YouTube membership program so far. Your support has been a huge help as recently the roads have been absolutely killing our equipment. If you haven't signed up already, you can do so by clicking the join button below this video here. If you've been enjoying our videos from our round the world trip so far, it would be amazing if you could help support our channel. We've made four tiers of memberships, but everyone gets the same benefits, live Q and A's and early access to episodes. So join for whichever tier you like. And as long as you support us, you'll be in for those extra special treats. Thanks so much guys and now back to the episode. So we're just preparing ourselves for a really really cold day. We have all our clothes on like our raincoats and our fleece, our down jackets. We will go all in today <laughs> but I have to um, to fix my gloves because as you can see there are many many holes now just on the left hand actually the right hand looks absolutely fine which is quite funny don't know like what's going on here but anyway so I will just uh, fix it now with some bandage actually 
just to keep the holes closed. <laughs> so I just actually put a tape over every hole I could see. So <laughs> now it looks like this. <laughs> Let's see how long that lasts. Guys, super scary as well because I think we just camped next to a Guanaco cemetery. Look, there are some bones here. He is like a skull or something. Like, I don't really know. And then over here is like, look, this is a dead something. And then over here. And then, no, that's not it. <laughs> here is something. Check that out. Here, over there. It's like, hey, what's going on? I mean, we did see a lot of dead guanacos on the side of the road, which is pretty, pretty crazy. I think we counted over like a hundred. But at least we had a free dinner. <laughs> was pretty good, hey? <sighs> awesome, let's make our way back up to the Ruta 3. Oh, yes. Goodbye, beautiful camp. <laughs> oh my god! Up the ditch! <laughs> Up the ditch! Oh, look at that! Nice! So it's like 14 degrees at the moment, hence why we really, really suited up a lot. We are totally wrapped up. Yeah, and I think we have to be for this ride because we're getting down into this subpolar climate. I know you guys in Europe, you have already a really, really, really cold days. <laughs> <laughs> Literally a few days ago, we were in like 25 degrees. Yeah. So for us, this is getting chilly. So it's about 160 miles to get down to the border to Chile. Exciting day ahead. Yeah. We are finally arriving in Tierra del Fuego, the end of the earth. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I've been waiting for this for ages. Yeah. Awesome. Good morning, Guanaco. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Have an awesome day. <laughs> Guanacos, Guanacos, everywhere are Guanacos. Guanacos, Hello. Guanacos. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, a deer sign. They're not deer, they're Guanaco. Do you think that the government just like ordered them online or something and they couldn't get Guanaco ones so they just sort of put up deer ones and they were like, oh, the people will get it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Guanacos. There's another one. Oh, there's another one. Another two. Yeah, yeah, we just have to be careful that they're not crossing the road whilst we're riding along. Yeah, because they are all over the road here. Yeah, yeah. Really be careful with this one on this side. Loads of them around. Oh, hello! Oh, they're so cute! <laughs> <laughs> Look how many are here. Wow. They are everywhere. Why are they all on the side of the road? Why are they all on the side of the road? Indeed, I have no idea. This is some open, open roads, eh? I think uh, it's the very definition of open roads right here. <laughs> it looks stunning, really stunning. Whoa, we've got some little lakes in this area with loads of flamingos in. Yes! Cool. Look how pretty they are. Uh, yeah. Loads of them here. Wow. On oh, this I'll... side and over here. Wow, there are more. Look at that. Stunning. 
they look just so exotic you know it's really gray around and then you can see the pink flamingos popping out yeah because the rest of the environment looks like something out of the scottish highlands or something yeah. and then yeah you've just got these pink <laughs> flamingos oh man very cool getting close to the border it's chilly now yeah the landscape is really pretty it's just very flat and then you can see some hills in the distance and the colors are really nice and it's not very busy at the moment so we're just cruising along yeah enjoying the view probably about 10 miles to the border so let's see hopefully this one will be nice and smooth fingers crossed all right here we go the U argentinian chilean border in the middle of nowhere <laughs> literally in the middle of nowhere look at this oh look there's some tourists oh. <laughs> Okay, Centro de Frontera. Cool. All right, I'll go in with our stuff. Okay. And check it out. Awesome. That was all done in about 10 minutes, so that wasn't so bad. Handed the passports to the immigration desk. And they uh, they don't do stamps, so they just scanned it, and that was fine. Gave my uh, bike documents to the duan, the customs and uh, they went through that they took the temporary import permit that we got in Buenos Aires back and said that we'll get issued a new temporary import permit in Chile but then <laughs> later on today we're leaving Chile so they're going to take that temporary import permit back and then I'll get a new temporary import permit for Argentina so we're gonna have like three temporary import permits in one day she, she was like otro papel and I was like Tres papel! And she was like, si, sí, tres papel! Mucho papel! <laughs> Very funny, but you know, there are rules for everything and like the border thing is actually always the <laughs> most uh, difficult or annoying part when you travel. Oh, look at this! Ah! So Argentina say, buen viaje! And then Chile say, bienvenidos! Welcome! <laughs> cool! Awesome! Glad to be here. Country number uh, nine or ten? Oh, we'll have Ooh. to look that one up. I yeah. reckon for now we're going to go with country number nine. <laughs> Woo! Chile! <laughs> so it's not very far actually, it's right here. Okay. In the middle of another farmer's field, <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> A whole lot of trucks. A whole lot of trucks. What are they doing? I don't know, but now mm. they're three across. Oh, he tries to park in there somehow. Okay, well, yeah. we will skip them. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. Entrada. Entrada, okay. Okay, I'm going to park okay. up over here. Okay. Woo. Sorry, <laughs> all good. I don't okay. want to embarrass us by falling off of the border again. <laughs> Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, we're gonna just quickly pick this up. Okay. okay. I think you said you have to go over to there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just got a new follower from the customs desk. <laughs> yes, yeah, awesome. That is awesome. So that Chilean side was pretty much the same as the Argentinian side. Very, very easy. I think there actually might be a little inspection here or something. Do we need to do something? Or Not we can sure. go... I don't know. Yeah, I, think... I think we can just go. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. Okay. I think they... Well, it's fine. Yeah, nobody's running out. <laughs> nobody's nobody's running outside. No. Oh, oh, did she did she look or no? no, no. Oh yeah. Did she yeah. say we have to stop? Yeah. Oh okay. Let's go around in a circle then. Okay. <laughs> uh, Ushuaia. Ushuaia. Yeah, finito. Okay. Yeah. See uh, here. Sorry. No, I don't know. Like COVID or something? COVID? Ask if it's to do with COVID. 
Aquí van a alguna fruta, banana. Unfortunately, they've told us that we can't bring our new block of cheese into Chile from Argentina. So basically, we're just going to eat as much as we can of it because <laughs> we're not going to let it go to waste. I think we will eat all of it. <laughs> we still had one aubergine left actually for the dinner tonight, but we are not allowed to bring it in. So I will have a raw aubergine. <laughs> <laughs> to go with your cheese, yes. your lots of cheese. Like this. <laughs> a cheese and aubergine sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Cheese is mostly eaten. <laughs> the aubergine was attempted eaten. So that means we're good to go into Chile. Yes. But then back into Argentina after. But still, into Chile for a little bit. Woo! So it's about 30, 35 miles to get to the ferry point and then we are leaving the South American continent and we're heading to the island of Tierra del Fuego. The route to the end of the earth! Whee! I think that we are arriving in the last 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 place the very very bottom of the South American continent. This is it! Oh wow, look, and look ahead. Wow. That is Tierra del Fuego on the other side of that little bit of water. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. So now we have to figure out how, if we need to get tickets or what we have to do. <laughs> Hola, buenos dias. Hola. Oh, oh sorry. Lo, lo siento. <laughs> sorry, it's here, aquí, uh, it's too close. <laughs> <laughs> Sí, uh, yeah, Tierra del Fuego, sí. Si. Okay. Okay. Tienes que permanecer acá. Stay here. Stay, stay here, here, stay, stay here. here, okay. okay. Paga. Ah, eh, Paga aquí. On board. On board. On board, okay. Can we pay with card? Yes. Yes, perfect. Argentinos, Argentinos, eh, dólar, okay. euro. Todo. Oh. <laughs> Thank perfect. you so much. Uh, awesome. When, when is the, the next? An hour, so hour. What, one hour? One hour. Okay. Hour, okay. 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 So I guess we have to wait here for an hour then. <laughs> it looks like it. But we have no cheese to eat. <laughs> oh no! Oh. <laughs> Ready to board? <laughs> yes. Other tourists. Yes. It's awesome. Yeah, these guys are from Santiago, so we will see them again when we are make it up there. <laughs> And they told us that tires are cheap in Santiago and they said they're very expensive in Argentina and they said the people from Argentina go over to Chile to change their motorcycle tires. So maybe we can get a new tire in Santiago. Okay, that's us going on. The end of the world, we are coming! So this little bit of water in between the mainland and the island is called the Magellan Strait. The same Magellan explorer that uh, they named the Magellanic penguins after. We've got like a huge convoy of BMW GSs behind us. <sighs> they said that they met at a moto club and now they're just mates and then they're just going on awesome trips together. That's lovely. I always like ferry rides. It's just like interesting thing to do, isn't it? Yep. Maybe we can see some whales. <laughs> you never know. Oh my god, look, Ooh. that guy's scraping. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He oh. said. Uh, behind the car, I think he said. But I could be absolutely wrong. As we wait. Okay. Oh, she's going to direct us, maybe. Perfecto! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is! <laughs> nice! Cool! Well, that was fast. We're already on the way. Cool! Awesome! Do the wrong 
song. My heart will go on and on. Sierra del Fuego, just up ahead. <laughs> Here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Coming on to the island. Here we go. <laughs> Woo! We hit land. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, gravel. Oh. And we're in like a convoy. <laughs> Adventure rider convoy. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, oh, beautiful. Nice. Bye bye, dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> More bikers. <laughs> oh, I think they might know each other as well. Yeah. You like bike? I like bike. <laughs> we like bike. <laughs> Oh. Nope. Nope. Bye bye guys. It was nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> we're, how are we always so slow? Okay, no, we're going round. We're going round. So one of those bikers on the boat, he was telling us about uh, how the island got its name. He told us that Tierra del Fuego means land of fires. So when the first explorers came and sailed around this island, apparently all they could see was uh, loads of little fires all on the shore around the island. And that was actually the native people living here, the indigenous people, so all they saw was a load of fires, so they called it the Land of Fires. Romantic. There you go. We have now a hundred miles more of the Chilean part of the island. Then we have to do another border crossing over to the Argentinian part of the island. And we're looking to wild camp on that side. So we've still got a little bit of way to go and it is five o'clock, so... So better hit the road, let's go! <laughs> 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 Guys, I think that we've seen our first alpacas here. Look at them. These are definitely alpacas, eh? Hey? Yeah, look how cute they are. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, guys. Wow, look how cute. Absolutely awesome. Oh, wow.
look at that. Is this like a wild cat or is it a fox? God, I, I have no idea what that is. That's beautiful. Wow, nice. Beautiful. I've never seen a fox like that before. I'm pretty sure it's a fox. Yeah, hey? Well, what a welcome to Tierra del Fuego, hey? It is raining and the temperature has just got into single figures. Nine degrees right now. Yeah, I'm really, really cold. I think I need a heated um, jacket and a heated trousers now. <laughs> just for this bit to Ushuaia. Yes. But luckily we uh, only have another few miles now to get to the border and then after the border we'll be looking pretty much for one of the first spots on Aya Valanda to camp because we're pretty much done for the day. Oh yes. We've done 263 miles so far. So we've done a lot of miles plus a border plus a ferry so yeah. One more border and then we can call it a day. Okay I think we're arriving here on the Chilean side of the border again. And here's our biker friends. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, right, let me go do the stuff that I gotta do. Awesome, okay. We are done with the Chilean side. We gave them back the temporary import permit <laughs> that we had for like half a day. Stamped out. We've been stamped out of Chile. Now it's like 10, 15 minutes across to the Argentinian side, but man, it is freezing. So I am looking forward to finishing, that's for sure. Yes. Whew. Final border of the day, back into Argentina. Perfect. <laughs> ah, see, aquí, a passport. Okay. okay. Okay, okay. Gracias. <laughs> Let's go do this. Amazing. So, we just finished up the process there, and then the guy said to us, So, where are you going to stay tonight? It's obligatory that you tell me somewhere. And we said, Oh, we don't have a place. We, uh, we haven't booked anything. Oh, you need a reservation. And then he said to us, Oh, there's actually a place here at the border. We have a little waiting room that's heated and there's a little kitchen. And if you want, you can just sleep there for the night. And we were like, Whoa, yes, of course we'll do that. That's way better than a cold tent. Hey. By the way, this camera is not working anymore. <laughs> no, I think this has been affected by the rain. There's something really going on. Listen. No, that's not working well at all. Anyway, I just got to park up the bike over here. Okay. Is that going to go? It's going to go. Okay, round here. It's got all these obstacles. And then he said... Okay, he said I gotta park it here in front. Okay, yep. Look, I'll show you guys the, the room. So bathroom, and then it says waiting room. And then inside is this beautiful space. I'm Pascal. <laughs> He's a cyclist, you will say his cycles in front there. And we've got this whole room, we can set up our mattresses on the ground and we've got a space to cook and a heater. It's amazing, no? Beautiful. So we'll just get some stuff in and have a beautiful warm night. So yes. Good evening guys, we made it, happy and alive! Woo! <laughs> yes, very very happy with this setup right here in this room. I don't know if you can see my face, it's very nice and red, I'm very hot, it's a good sign. <laughs> and Levy's cooked up this amazing curry, chickpea, lentil, peas, some rice crackers. So we're pretty cozy right now. Yes, yes. Totally different to what I was imagining we would end up today on Tierra del Fuego, really. <laughs> so we'll be ready to hit the road tomorrow for our last ride south to Ushuaia. Yes! 
literally <laughs> the city at the end of the world. That's how they call it. So that's it from us today. At the end we did 280 miles, which is about 450 kilometers. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.